actress Nanama McBrown has finally responded to the prophet who gave a doom prophecy about herself and her daughter. More to this coming up in a bit. Hey guys, my name is Kweba and you are watching P-Bars right here on Pinax GH. For quite some time now, we've all noticed that actress Nana McBrown has kept quiet about a said prophecy that was relieved by one of the prophets or one of the junior pastors of Reverend Osubempa saying that Nanama McBrown is going to lose something that is more vulnerable to her which is going to cause her to shed more tears. From the beginning we we're all wondering what could be so precious to the actress that when she loses it is going to cause her that much pain to an extent of she weeping and that we all came to a conclusion that it might be the prophet was talking about her newborn baby but just so he wants to dodge um, blasting from people. That's why he just made it like Nana Mark Brown has lost something valuable to her. Now, all along, Gonogenians were expecting Nana Mark Brown to come out and say something about this very prophecy, but it seems she was not really doing anything about it because um, she was quiet and her fans, including other Ghanaians, were worried. Why is she quiet over such an issue? Because a man of God has come out to say, says something that very valuable to you is going to, uh, you're going to lose it. And then you are not doing anything. It's like you are reluctant. So people were actually asking questions. Ghanaians were actually asking questions. Fans of Nanama were worried, asking that, is this say, Nanama Afechire Akumu prophet no entina on Kaum Bibiana Nase? She's scared that the prophecy is going to come to pass. But today, and in an Instagram post, Nanama, a uh, post, you know, he has, she has answered the prophet with just a simple quotation. Now, quotation on the one, it will marvel you, even though I'm Kasa, but the quotation itself speaks volumes. And after she posted that quotation, no, uh, we had some people, some Ghanaians, commenting under the quotation. I'll give you that comment. The, what the quotation was, um, Lamentation 337, and it reads, I say, who can speak? Who can speak and have it happen if the Lord has not decreed it? Meaning, say, all that Nanama Grant is trying to say is that even though on Kasa ain't here, um, the prophet, but in this very quotation, what she is trying to say, everyone can say, this is a direct uh, message, and I said direct response to what the man of God said. You know? Now, let me read some comments for you here, right here on her Instagram page. I'm now on her Instagram page. And Kofobi, I respond, you'll be to say, Timakunkum, or say, Big says, every Thing is on point now. Anna Nanama McBrown daily. I am one of fans of Nanama McBrown. Be so the better. I said the Lord decrees and declares unsaleably shine on my empress. Now, Lady Bakodi, I also echo TV at a support in Nanama McBrown, and she made a profound quote, which is Isaiah 57, verse 17. And it's read I say, No weapon formed against you shall prevail, and you will not refute every tongue that would accuse you this is the heritage of the servant of god and this is their vindication for me declares the lord and this very um personal or, or trust and your friend i'll be sense i don't know if i'm getting the name correct but these were some of the messages that people left on her IG page when they saw her say she has actually responded to um, the message or the prophecy that was given by that said man of God. No. Now, when, uh, no, the way things are going, it seems that people are happy saying now Mark Brown was able to stand up because most of the times, Ghanaian prophets, when they come out, it's all about doom. It's all about doom. It's either this celebrity is going to die or that celebrity is going to face this. But we are wondering, why is it always about celebrities? Why? And whenever they come, it's all about doom. When are they also going to tell us something? I want one of one man of God to come out and tell us the whereabouts of the three kidnapped girls. You know, talk about the kidnapped girls. You know, I want one prophet to come out and tell us about their whereabouts because it seems uh, all the time they are seeing things. We want them to also see this about it. Now, in a recent video, you know, apart from the message now, we'll leave you on IG, you know, in a recent video called Posty and HSA, she's really not worried about whatever prophecy somebody has given. Because in a recent video we're posting a chest and a J ne pastor be a woo yano ne pastor be abachan in your mind or why a video at all ne page and 
Nene Kasa or the person asked for all that he has done for her. Nina just says she's not really that much worried about whatever that is going on. I know you would love to hear more about the story. So I want you to subscribe to our YouTube page and we are definitely going to give you an update should any updates come up. Thank you so much for watching. I am Kweba. Hey mothers, hey parents. Ano pa mi huwag di binahami. So as a member of Galka, Ghanaian Against Child Abuse, I want to say something. Obi di nebe i cha kwen muna. Wajah kolana nsa. Kolana a anka na huwa bonu se pu. And I ask myself, anya kolana fault? As a mother, I mean, oba no bi biasha nsa. Um, sa di obo no niem shemi. Inti no, I I believe say. Child abuse at the beer can once and it still happens in Ghana here and it must end. One say, Your man, no dear, O Munim, your moo yent, yan ever to two my quire mom. As a parent, I feel say, Your quire be bear better than your manacasa and your bone quire. Into no ya, you know, moo abotre, na you who saw me abo for a fair na yet to two omo. Into no message, so be a bear Ghanaian against child abuse. Medamunina say, I believe someone may adjourn it, and ah. Brim. Anasa Westland, Anasa Sprinters Road, 